the last of them. Um. Oh. Oh no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> too good to resist oh it's way too good to resist dude oh my god oh it's fucking jokes everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off world first a justicar shows up now you At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. Combat thrown away. You're dead. of that ship must be around here. True. It's over here. The door. Ah, <sighs> I'm so sorry that that Volus had to die, but that was so fucking funny. I couldn't. Literally, like, I could not die. Aye, aye, aye. Right. Copy memo. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name or look around first? Ah, uh, look around. We've got time. Let's look around some more. I don't actually think there's anything else to get, is there? Uh, I think we're good. Hmm. Where'd the Volus land? Nowhere, apparently. His body just disappeared. Amazing. Um, how do I exit? Oh, to the spaceport. Should we go back to the spaceport main yard? Let's go. Well, there's nothing else. Like, hello. Unless there's some shit hidden. Not a Scooby me. Not a fucking Scooby like. I'm getting ripped tonight. All right, be there. Hello. Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. Oh, really? Hello. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Thank you for removing the Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, Merely out of curiosity. When you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? You never know when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, Earth Clan, returning that manifest would be very profitable for you. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. Mmm, I need money. Hmm. I need a lot of money. Fuck it. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. Oh, I want to fucking give you something, bitch. You. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. Hmm? I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. Huh. The Eclipse smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. She's who you're really after, isn't she? You continue to impress. Yes, I was here, tracking the Ardat Yakshi. 
She is a dangerous criminal, and I will bring her to justice. If you say After so. After your mission is complete, of course. You're sworn to follow a code that dictates your decisions. But I'm running a military operation. You wonder if I will refuse to follow orders because of my code? I can't allow that to happen. By agreeing to follow you, I am compelled to swear the most difficult of Justicar oaths. The third oath of subsumation. After I do, your orders will override the code. You should know, however, that I'll still give you my opinion if the situation warrants. It's fine. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. Uh... By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. That's a madness, you know. The heck? I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. Oh. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? Um... I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. Am I alone? I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus Merchant. Let's see what you got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. Why? I vouch for Shepard, and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Sec. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. It's a shame this Elnora escaped, but I'll get her. At least you put her on the run. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. Ah, uh, Pitney Four smuggler. I have proof that Pitney Four smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take oh. this. Thank you. Oh, we have a crew of Samara. I have a bit more monies. Welcome Hello. to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Bye. Bye. Cheers, Jacob. Great. Very strange. Okay. Do I have more shit here? You're goddamn right. Oh, beautiful. Can't do that yet. Very close. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Okay. Medical matters. Sure. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Mm -hmm. Aware you come by a great deal. Have had other species become attracted to me before. Awkward. Not interested. Uh, uh, oh, I, I, mm. You've had members of other species make a pass at you? Constantly. Very awkward. 
Skin tone apparently attractive by Turian standards. Subset of Krogan sexual deviants enjoy Salarian flexibility. More cartilage and skeletal structure. Asari offers intriguing, actually. Wonder why? Transspecies pheromones unlikely to work? Must be neurochemical. Wait a minute, Borden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust. Would never dream of mockery. <laughs> Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required. <laughs> okay, that was weird. That was very weird. Um, what do I want? Cryo ammo or adrenaline rush? Or wait. Until I can get a four. I'll wait until I can get a four. That's what I'll do. I'll wait. Okay. Um. Ooh. Hello. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live. We'll get loud. G -G -G. Spill some drinks on the Citadel. Hell yeah, my G. We'll talk later. Commander. Wagwan. We're like homies now, what the heck? Oh, look at all these ship upgrades. Nom, 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 nom. Joker. I want to talk, mate. I want to talk. So, Commander, even your Asari are trained killers? Get everyone at the same store or something? Yeah, man. I assume everything Good is for going now. Well. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but that's it for See now. See you, Commander. It always says the same shit. Why? Anything for me, Kelly? Kelly! Anything? Nope. Kelly ignored you, though. All right, give me earn moment. Earn moment. Uh. I've gained food. <laughs> Nutrients. Nutrition. It's good for the bones. Good for the bones. Eat this fucking potato right now. Mm-mm. Alright. Oh. Shepard. What are your impressions of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob is an earnest young man. Events will either forge him into a great man or utterly destroy him. Miranda is undoubtedly a hard woman. I respect her strength and determination. She carries many burdens and doesn't share them with others, hmm. as it should be. How do you think our mission is going? Building our forces is a good strategy. However, the time to strike is coming soon. Do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore further. Shall I tell you what is required? Yeah? Show me what it would take. Fucking hell. Give me that. Shepard. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. Sure. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? Yeah? 
I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Astra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. Okay. You might say it is personal. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. Say so. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. <sighs> Want your battery, man? I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. Careful. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'd been meaning to speak with you, in fact. Okay. I wanted to apologize. Or? I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, Based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. Um. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks Group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. What? You disapprove? No. I'm just impressed. You're... Well, look at you. A kid from the slums of Earth. No family, little formal education. And you've done more than I could. Despite everything my father did to make me perfect. Taking this just right. You're the best humanity has to offer. You always bring up your genetic tailoring. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. Mm. That's a tough feeling to live with. Maybe after we save the galaxy, you'll change your mind. We can hope. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I appreciate it. Good mate. Running! What? Nani. Right. Commander has put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. Uh -oh. Any chance we could get to the Citadel, Shepard? Okay. I'd like to follow that lead on Sedonis. Um. I'll let you know, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Cheers, mate. How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Hmm. This car is a massive one.
Shepard. Just checking in. How you doing? The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Grant would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships, anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. <laughs> Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. That's a bit messed up, mate. Yo, Jack. Hey. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? Um. I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. Um. You're a hard person to like, Jack. Really? I had no idea. What other amazing insights do you have that I'm too stupid to see? Oh, bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. Okay. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? Fair enough. You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. No. Oh. You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. You let someone get that close, it just means they need You're a You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Minara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed, and when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. Don't fuck. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. Okay. I have to go. But we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. I'm in no hurry. I want to know what makes you tick first. You don't need to know someone to sleep with them. You just have to know where to put it. Hell. 
Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Maybe not. Uh. I think I messed up. I chose the wrong option. I should have chosen the middle option. I don't want to smash, dude. Uh, I want to smash. I've got green across the board. The forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy or Miranda? I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the breeze. I don't Fucking know. Hell. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. You such a dog. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bushtet. Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the poor drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The yeah. fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry, it won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. Oh. How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like... What did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? I wouldn't get chickenpox, but How I did you get chicken fever pox? as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, vomiting... Everything you'd expect from being sick. Uh-huh. How did you get sick this time? I took some fire in a fight back on the Alarai. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly, but one of the section seals had taken some damage, and foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. You fucking donut. You can seal off part of your suit? Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. Hmm. Were your immune system stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our planet lacked insect life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Mm. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. But Quarians colonized other worlds. They couldn't all have been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld in our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. Hmm. Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. I don't I know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first, and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that, though. Except... Well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Well, not that, that I know, but I, I didn't mean it like that. It's a, um, wow, it's really hot in here. It's just that the tradition also signifies a willingness for, an um, intimacy. I wasn't trying to, it's not always like that. It's more, um, how did we even end up talking about this? Wait a minute. It sounds like you're suggesting something, Tally. What could I possibly be suggesting? I mean, a young woman gets rescued by a dashing commander who lets her join his crew and then goes off to save the galaxy? How could she possibly develop any kind of interest in him? This mission will be risky enough. I can't jeopardize your health for that. No matter how much I'd like to. But you'd like to? 
Um, good to know. Oh. Anyway, I should get back to work. But thanks for coming by and talking. 